Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have one of the best selling ca uh, couples campers in the entire RV industry. This is the 2024 Radiance 25RB. Now this is gonna have a one big old massive super slide. It's in a rear bath disposition, but it's got a lot of good things going for it and it's why it sells so well. Very heavily insulated. So it's great for late season camping or early season camping. Five-sided aluminum frame construction as well. Uh, but it's also got a lot of perks, you know, things like a little slide tray in the pass-through or an outdoor kitchen. Not a lot of couples coach even get an outdoor kitchen. But we're gonna start on the inside. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be down in the description of this video. Hit that like and subscribe button for me. Help me reach my new goal my upgraded goal of 40,000 subscribers here in 2023, busting my buns to get there and it feels so nice. But again, it's the 2024 Radiance 25RB. And right when you walk in, you get a big old pantry to the right. I'll show you that here in a second. But check out all this walk around room. You get this absolutely massive slide here for your seating and it just opens up. So again, it is a couples coach but it has the feel of a small apartment for sure. And what I like about it is the seating is really functional. So this is gonna be a pull-out sofa. And then you also have the dinette that drops down for even more sleeping space. Now, one thing that I truly love about Radiance, and you're gonna see a very similar product, MPG, which I also sell. The difference between the two is, because they're very similar, this has an interior head height of six foot 11. So I'm six feet tall. Check that out. That is incredible. Now, when you're talking about maybe staying for an extended period of time, that is the kind of stuff that's going to be worth its weight in gold. And it's really going to help you along. The other thing that I enjoy is you're not going to find any carpet in this camper and you get this get kind of marine gray and woven material. So it's really tough, really durable looks really sleek but it also allows you to still get the flush mount slide which is why you get all this height in the slide the slide height too i believe is going to be five foot eight i think that sounds about right but it's just about your ear you know if you're the same height as me all of these windows are absolutely massive they're all tinted and they all open up for a really nice breeze and they come with the old dracula shade so you can block out the sun keep some nosy eyes out you know help regulate some of that temperature the decor looking pretty darn sharp. You're also gonna notice USBs. Um, and now this is gonna pull out to a little bit bigger than a full size bed, but it'll give you just enough squeak through room, you know, to get through to the rest of the coach. I'll get back to this living room here in a second. I wanna show you this rear bath. Since it is the 25 RB, obviously this is one of the main reasons why people are gonna want it. Again, six foot 11. So you're gonna notice massive space for the shower. Check that out. It's also not that boring white background on there it just looks really cool with that checkered look but i you know i'm a bigger fella and i've got plenty of room you know my head kind of brushes up against right here but you got a sunroof and even still you know it's uh it's got really nice functional space there you're also going to see plenty of space there to the right or to the left i mean a window and then you got a foot flush toilet but look at all the space in there in the restroom and then right over here more countertop space than i see in even most fifth wheel bathrooms there's very very few rvs in the market that get this much countertop space solar powered outlets so you can control this off of the 12 volt you know off of your solar which is always a plus show off the old bowling gun baby she's getting rusty she's getting rusty but she's still dangerous i feel like bowling's like riding a bike never gonna quite uh Forget how to do that, I guess. And big old storage. But yeah, that is the rear bath. You also got a little fan right up here too. Help you kind of suck out some of the steam or stink from whatever you're doing. Boom. Awesome floor plan. Sliding door. And that kind of the, the decor stuff I think looks really sharp with that dark wood. Flip it around. This is that pantry. And this is where that, that height comes into play. You get enough space to pack away all your stuff. And then you got an area where you can hang up, you know, a couple items of clothing. So that's just nice to have. 
This is going to be your control panel for your slide out, your awning extension, and then some of your controls, you know, water heater, all that good stuff. And then you can also check your tank fill levels right there as well. Entertainment section. So you're going to get a Sansui TV, my personal favorite brand to say, Sansui. A little bit of countertop space. The Furion soundbar with zones one and two. So that's going to be inside, outside. So you can play music both sides. Auxiliary, USB and HDMI. And then a little space, maybe for like a PlayStation or a DVD player. Now this also is going to get the 31 inch Greystone electric fireplace. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a super fancy space heater. But it also has 5100 BTUs of heat. So in an RV this size, absolutely will heat the entirety of this camper. You know, when it's 45 degrees out with hardly even struggling. So you're probably not even going to have to use propane for most people's camping. You're also going to see you are prepped for the gateway. Uh, so you get that and you can activate the 4G LTE and the Wi-Fi and you're good to go. You know, a lot of people are working on the road these days and that's getting a little bit more and more important. So again, this dinette booth, sit down for four, more space than you need for two, no doubt about that. But it does drop down to make a bed and it rests right there on those plastic you know, little nubs and obviously you pull out those metal bars and you're good to go. If you guys want to pause it, that's kind of the, uh, I'll show you over that. Pause it as you will. But a lot of cool features on that and I'll put a link to the manufacturer site uh, down in the description too. This is going to be your kitchen area. So right off the bat you're going to notice the refrigerator is an absolute behemoth. I believe it's going to be that 10 cubic foot. Let's see if it says in here. 10.7 cubic foot. Yeah. It's also that 12 volt. So again, runs off the solar, runs off the battery. Uh, it really just kind of works like the one inside your home, but it doesn't get overheated by the elements. You know, the hotter it is outside, doesn't dictate what the temperature is in here. So you get the freezer and you get the refrigerator portion. You're also going to notice you get a lot of cabinetry up top and it all looks pretty darn snazzy. You know, usually it's got kind of that glass insert, but instead they put that little metal rivet there. And even the, whatever you call that, the handle looks pretty sharp. But good space. You know, it goes back to that corner and it goes all the way across over there. You know, I'd imagine, you know, stacking some, uh, some cereal, some snacks. You know, you're feeling good. Life is going good. You're going heading to the cramp count, baby. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Pretty good looking backsplash as well. Give you a little up close and personal view of that. Solid or single stainless steel undermounted bowl along with your residential style sink. Look at that, the little snake. Hitting those dishes from all angles, baby. A window right there, hopefully for a good view. You also get RV industry first. It's an air fryer oven. I've never used that before. I've never even used an air fryer. Um, I heard they're pretty darn awesome though. I wish I could talk more about that, but it is what it is. I'm not highfalutin like that. Right here, three stovetop burner to cook up all the fixings. You know, you get your green beans, get your gravy, some mashed potatoes. You throw a chicken inside that with the air fryer. Mmm, Thanksgiving on the road, baby. Graystone hood, so you're fan and light. You're good to go. And then you got the Greystone microwave as well. On the bottom side, forgot to show you, just underneath the refrigerator, you got your fuse box. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. Uh, it'll glow up nice and red for you. If something's not working, it'll be screaming at you so you can switch out the fuse. That's always going to be the first thing that you check. You get a little ledge for any of your sponges. Speaking of sponges, I always crack up anytime I hear sponges because back in the day, I don't know if you remember... You know, uh, Goosebumps, the old TV show. My sister was terrified. There was an evil sponge. <laughs> she called it the spongin. And she was like three years old. Sorry about that. Getting a little sidetracked, but the evil spongin. Uh, I'm going to have to send her a little text to let her remind her of that. Give her a good laugh. Tell her son about it, too, so we can make fun of her. So one thing I really enjoy about Cruiser RVs, this is going to go across most of the brands for cruiser but i know for a fact mpg and radiance 100 have it is look at this bed so you get plenty of room on both sides but it's also on the king the king bed slide so on on the other side there's this little latch and you can push the bed all the way to the right or all the way to the left 
and it just really helps. If somebody has a hard time getting in and out, push the bed all the way over. If you need more room on this side, maybe because you're putting like a wheelchair in or something, you have plenty of room to push it to the side and give somebody a little bit of extra space. Emergency exit over here with a blind, which is nice. They switched it up from the nightshade to the blinds. Pretty common inside of a bedroom. Pull, push, and pop. Get out in a hurry. Another window right over here. Obviously, you can see tons of overhead storage. Now, this model was ordered with the two ACs, so you're going to get dual ACs in this one. You can order it with just one. It kind of depends on where in the country you're camping, but an extra AC never hurt nobody. Hanging storage on both left and right. And then up top, you get all that overhead storage there as well, which is pretty darn nice. Now, another thing that's nice about the ACs too, if you want to disproportionately hog all the cool air back into this room, you pop open that dump valve, you know, and it is getting really chilly here in an absolute hurry if you close that door. If you want it to evenly distribute it through the H-Track, you're good to go. You just, uh, you know, you just leave it closed. Really nice little closet right here. So you get a couple little, uh, you know, kind of dresser cabinet drawers, I guess you call them. And then you get, oh, what is going on here? Get this moved over. Whew, dang, I'm good. Two pull-out drawers there. Two bigger ones down at the bottom. And then you get that little nook storage. And then also, oh, let's see here. Just to point out too, so you know that they're there outlets and USBs, and then the same thing over on that side. But all right, I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of this tour. Again, this was the 2024 Radiance 25RB, the rear bath one slide. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you guys have made it this far, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now we're gonna spend uh, not that too much time, just a couple moments on the outside, and uh, you know, show you what she's all about show you where the dump valve locations are and all that but specifications length height tank sizes awning sizes will be down in the description of this video and uh yeah i hope you guys are digging the tour so i didn't turn on the led lights silly me but you get led lights right there and then one going up a no sorry right here and right here i forgot i have to look at where the camera view is um but that just helps kind of glow it up at like it looks super nice but it helps you just kind of navigate if you're attaching at night plus it also just looks cool you also get a light right here on the power tongue jack so up and down with a click of a button you're good to go place to put on your batteries power disconnect and then you get two 20 pound propane bottles as well now if you guys are in the market for this particular rv this one is in stock and available for purchase shoot me a text i'd love to send you over the price unfortunately i can't say it over here due to map pricing rules but you're also gonna notice aluminum frame construction. And check this out. How nice is that? Maybe put some stuff down in there. I could see like firewood or tools, you know, anything of that nature, just kind of sneak in there, slides in and out. You're also prepped for the tire link system, which is gonna be a tire pressure monitoring system. You just buy that, it runs you about 300 bucks. You buy it straight off their website. Um, uh, yeah, it's just nice to have. It'll scream at you if your tires are getting too inflated or underinflated, hot, cold, whatever. Solar disconnect, solar charge controller, so you can let, you know, your, uh, you can see what's going on with the solar. Heated and enclosed underbelly. And you're also going to get the power stabilizing jack. So you get a set up here, and then you get a set in the back. So you just sit there and hold a light switch. Makes it really nice and easy. Very, very large awning. I love seeing that. You get the LED lights there underneath as well. Two, two marine grade exterior speakers. It's gonna be uh, where you fill up your potable water, a cable hookup, and then two outlets so you can play some outside TV. So not only do you have those exterior speakers, but you also have the exterior, the ability to put an exterior TV. The step above flip-in steps, so you just go in there, pretty common these days in RVs, but it's just a really nice kind of sturdy, you know, smack and go type, uh, type step. You're also gonna get the three-year structural warranty and the enclosed underbelly with the extended season RVing. So that is gonna be nice, again, added insulation. Now, even though this is a couples coach, you're still getting an exterior kitchen, which is almost traditionally darn near exclusive to, to bunk beds these days, I feel like. 
You know, a lot of a lot of models still have them, but it's not as common as they are in bunks. You get the Elite Series griddle, so it's going to be just like a Blackstone, you know, something like that. Um, cook yourself up some burgers, some eggs. You know, you're having a good time down at the campground. You also get a little cooler right there. Maybe fit yourself a 24-pack of apple juices. Little leash latch for your furry friend. A true bumper and spare tire. Oh. You know what I also forgot to mention, and silly me, Goodyear Endurance tires. So that's really important. That's going to be a high-end tire for you. Uh, I'm in a lot of those forums, and I hear everyone talking about them. <laughs> Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So you just hook the ladder in, you know, right there. Get on top of your fully walkable roof. Again, it's a five-sided aluminum frame construction with a wood truss. So really sturdy, really stable to kind of walk around in. You're also going to see all your other connections. So this one's going to be a 50 amp. The standard's going to be 30 amp. So make sure to ask that if that's something that you need or not. A spray port for some access to some water. City water connection and a black tank flush. That's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Satellite and cable. So right here is going to be your dumps for your sewers. And uh, you know your gray tanks and all that good stuff. You are able to put a slide topper on this. Runs you about seven, eight hundred bucks or so, but it's basically a piece of awning that runs from here to here, and it protects your slide from any type of debris. If you're ever going to get a leak on your camper, it's going to come from popping the seal. You know, maybe with like a, um, you know, like a tree branch or something. There's actually going to be three seals in there. Imagine if you just rammed a tree tree branch right into there. It's going to puncture through those three seals, and it's going to leave that opening for you know your water. It also helps regulate temperature a little bit if you're camping somewhere real hot. So this is where you can really tell too. It's got those um, tinted windows. Uh, can't open that because I am a ding dong and forgot that key for this side. But you're also going to notice it's got the magnetic latch which is always a big time plus. Check out some of the stats. Again these will be down in the description of the camper. Cargo comparing capacity of 3037 pounds. So you can really you know haul some weight in this. But all right, guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys loved the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button for me. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Radiance 25RB. See ya.